Hey guys, Cal Torek here. Today, I'm bringing you a video of all of my Phase 2 Mage Rune videos. I have each of these uploaded individually, but got a request to merge them all into one. So, here we are. You'll find a playlist on my YouTube channel of all these videos as well. There will be timestamps below for each rune. If you have found my Phase 2 rune coverage helpful, please like and subscribe. If there's anything you would like me to do differently about my Phase 3 rune coverage, let me know in the comments down below. Cheers boys, and good luck getting these runes. Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to show you how to get the rune Hot Streak, which goes on your waste slot. It is an incredibly simple rune to get, but you need to kill a level 35 mob to get it. All you have to do is go to this location in Alterac Mountains. There is a forge here with two bellows attached to it. When you cast a fire spell on them, they ignite. All you have to do is cast two flame strikes on the ground next to it, and a level 35 elemental will spawn out the top. Kill them dead, and loot your hot streak rune. As simple as that. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care, and happy hunting in phase 2 everyone. Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to show you how to get both Spell Frost and Frostfire Bolt runes. Normally, I would split this into two videos, since it's two different runes. However, Blizzard decided to put both of these runes on the same mob for some reason. All you have to do is go to this area and strangle Thornvale. You will be after Skull Splitter Mystics. Kill them until you get both of the spell notes for each of these runes. Once you identify them with a Comprehension Charm, you'll have both runes. As simple as that. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care, and happy hunting in Phase 2. Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to show you how to get the rune Chronostatic Preservation. You may need a party for this. Some mages were able to solo it, but I did it in a group to make it easier. For this rune, you need to go to 1000 Needles. Similar to how our burnout rune worked in Phase 1, where we had to break a frozen mob out of ice, this time, we are cooling off some hot boys. There are three fiery mobs and 1,000 needles at these locations. Each of them drops an item that combines into chronostatic preservation. Scorched Harpy, Singed Pridewing, and Seared Cougar. All need to be hit with Frost Bells. Frostbolt, Kona Cold, Ice Lance, and Frost Nova all seem to proc these effects. You need to spam Frost Damage on the mobs and kill them before they heal up. You'll find Singed Pridewing here. You'll find Scorched Harpy here. For Seared Cougar, it's locked in a cage. You need a key that drops off the Galak mobs near the cage. Once you kill and loot all three mobs, you can combine the pieces to get your rune. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care, boys. Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to show you how to get the rune Brain Freeze. To start, we go to this location in Desolus. You want to find the Extinguished Campfire. Right-clicking it will give you a quest, which will send you to the northeast to talk to one of the goblins at this house here. He will give you another quest, which will send you to Booty Bay. You will go to the bottom floor of the inn and talk to this orc here. Turn in and accept the next quest, which will require you to purchase Cherry Grog from the vendor behind her. Turn in and accept the next quest, which sends you to Arathi Highlands. You'll want to go down to the water at the south. You'll find a little boat here. Right click it and it will teleport you to a new location. Head to the right along the coast to the docks. Here you will find a night elf standing on the end of the dock. Talk to her and fight her. Keep in mind she is level 40 so if you're low level you may want to wait before doing this or find a group. When you defeat her she will drop a pouch on the ground with a key inside. Head to the north end of the dock there you will find Alari's loot cache. Open it with the key and complete the quest. Open the jewel encrusted box. Inside you will find your brain freeze rune. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care boys. Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today I want to show you how I got the rune Missile Barrage. Be ready because it requires you to kill a level 41 elite multiple times. This rune is shared by other classes, so you should be easily able to find groups for it. First, we go to Deadwind Pass. 
There, you will find a Dalaran agent at this location. He will give you Aridin's sigil. It is a trinket, and when equipped, it will allow you to reveal the Dark Riders. You will know if you are near a Dark Rider when you get the Dark Presence buff. You must kill seven of these guys. The locations are the following. There is one in Deadwind Pass, very close to the Dalaran agent we got the trinket from right over here. Next is Swamp of Sorrows in this location. Duskwood Follows at this location and Raven Hill Cemetery. Another Dark Rider is located in Badlands right here. Arathi Islands has a rider right over here, west of the Horde Town. Barrens has one south of Crossroads. Lastly, Desolus has one south of Nigel's Point. Once you have killed all seven of these, you return to the Dalaran Agent and turn in each of these rewards. Each of these quest turn-ins give experience. Probably worth it to try and do this while leveling. Once all seven Dalaran relics have been turned in, you will get your rune. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care, boys. Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to show you how to get the rune Spell Power. This is a continuation of the Icy Veins rune, where you had to collect books to get the rune. For this rune, you will have to collect 20 books total. This includes the books from Phase 1. If you only collected 10 of the Phase 1 books, you will need to collect 2 more, because as of right now we only know of 8 Phase 2 books. There is a handy add-on called Mage Book Tracker. It will tell you which books you haven't collected yet from Phase 1. So download and install this add-on if you are unsure of which books you might be missing. The 8 Phase 2 book locations are the following. In Desolus, there is a book inside this big building at this location. At Duswallow Marsh, there is a book at this Murloc camp here. For 1k needles, you will need to find it up here. You can access the top of this from the path to the west. Follow the bridges around until you get to the book. At Alteric Mountains, you will find a book in the tower. In Arathi, you will find a book outside of the hut here. In Badlands, you'll find this one in a cool tomb over here. For Stranglethorn, you'll find this book at this location here. Lastly, you'll find a book in Swap of Sorrows, inside this little box. Once you turn in all these books and have a total of 20 completed book turn-ins, you will be given your Spell Power Rune. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care, boys. Hey guys, Cal Torak here. If you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video. If you would like to support me directly, I am an indie game developer with my first game on Steam in early access right now. It's called Castle Warriors. I would appreciate it if you would check it out, and if you enjoy the game, give it a positive Steam review. Thanks. Have a good one, guys.